So first to start, I just wanted to ask, um, in what ways do you think that this film is different from other coming of age films? Well, there's a bunch of Latino people in it. <laughs> One way. <laughs> oh, you'll get to see that a lot. Um uh, I think uh, that's one way, just sort of the diverse cast. Um, I think, um, you know, a lot of coming of age movies deal with sort of with like love, relationships, losing your virginity. And this is a, sort of a different approach to to a coming of age and the importance of, of, of friendship and for boys, what it means to be boys. And if you have to, if you have to fight or not. Yeah, I yeah the I can't say my praises enough. I'm Latina, so I think watching it, it was very. I think I was able to pick up on the smaller thing. A lot of it was yeah. very nostalgic. Um, so yeah, it's. I would say that's a big difference that it's a lot of Latino people and people of color in general. Mm -hmm. Um, so I wanted to know what was the thought process like for the film? Like, what did you pull inspiration from? So, uh, because of his action movie love uh pulled a lot of inspiration from action movies so it was a great excuse to watch all my favorites um and then for myself i'd never done anything like those action scenes in the movie or those stunts so i dove in head first to try to learn how to do that and how so i talked to a lot of stunt performers and uh action directors and fight coordinators just to get it right because we didn't have a lot of time to shoot the uh, movie or money so we had to kind of go in knowing what we were going to do um so that was that was sort of one of the 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 main thing I I, I dove into. I, I felt I felt comfortable with with the comedy of it all. Um and then especially once we found the cast, uh once we uh, had casted them, uh that was sort of a, a relief because I felt like these these guys can really bring it. So yeah, I I really wanted to get the action scenes right because it was it was new territory for me. Mm -hmm. And speaking about the people that you worked with, what was uh, what was it like working with everyone on set? Do you have any fun memories that you can share with us? It was amazing. Like we, this movie, I, you know, these 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 actors had to look like they've been friends all their life, and always there's a lot of jokes that they have to land. But we also there was an extra commitment. Like you know, Tyler who plays Miguel had to train for two months on 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 these action scenes and everybody sort of committed to the action part and the stunts so i can't thank them enough because that is that's hard that means you like you know uh on the weekends he's like throwing kicks and and stretching and having to work on being uh the best bruce lee he could be what are you hoping that viewers get from viewing this film well i think for uh any kind of uh, any kind of young person, but especially Latino boys, to to hopefully see themselves reflected on the screen and and actually first and foremost is to be entertained and have fun and good time and tell a friend to go watch it on Hulu. Uh, but I think if if kids can relate to the character and just at the end take away that uh, a it's it's okay to be yourself, especially if that that person is someone who doesn't want to get in a fight. And just how special it is to be surrounded with some good group of friends who will stand up for you um, um, if you want to fight or not fight. <laughs> you know? um, and then how did you come across the project and what made you want to go ahead with the project? Um, uh, I had met Shay before uh, randomly and uh, yeah, I just got the script and that day I said yes to it uh, because I... Uh, connected to it uh I ne i've never been in a fight and i love action movies so just on that i basically said yes but then like reading it and and obviously it was really funny but also just seeing the connection and then the sort of the humanity of these kids and the relationship with his dad and it's such a special different version of a latino dad that is uh, that wants his kid to just be himself and not get out in a, into a fight and appreciates him for being his nerdy self. Um, that was really special. So that that was that was a, a big part of why I said yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then just one last question. Um, did you run into any setbacks on set and how did you work around them and adapt to them? Yes. <laughs> uh, setbacks are just like, especially in low budget, it's just something, it's just part of filmmaking. And um I am happy I've had 
my SNL experience that that is just chaos uh, every weekend. So yeah, like for example, the last scene of the movie where they reunite with that 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 kind of local bully. The we had two days to shoot that, but it soon became one and a half days because we had a tornado warning. So we had to leave set. So that meant we had to sort of approach the scene in a different way and like figure out how to shoot it a little more efficiently and a little faster. Like the, it was, it was going to be a bigger scene, a bigger fight, but I think like sometimes those things uh, end up helping it. I think it was now it's just what it needs to be. So yeah, we also shot during the pandemic. So a lot of people were going down with COVID left and right. So mm -hmm. yeah, it, every day was a challenge for sure.